Hi, and thanks so much for tuning into my blog. If this is your first visit, thank you very much for checking out my beauty blog or my YouTube channel, wherever you may be viewing this video from. My name is Kelly, and I am a professional makeup artist outside of Atlanta in Alpharetta, Georgia. Today, I want to shed light on a beauty trend that is all over social media. Um, it's referred to as strobing, but it is really not anything new. Uh, contouring has been a very, very big trend for the last year and a half or so. Um, really started with Kim Kardashian posting, posting her selfies um, on the social media pages. And as you are well aware, contour just kind of took over and companies have um, made all types of contouring uh, cosmetic products for you to try to achieve that look. Well, strobing is actually the same exact thing as highlighting. If you are one of my clients, I am sure you are already aware of this and you might even be doing this little beauty trend as, um, in your regular beauty routine right now. Um, it's a great trend for summer. If you look back at some of the videos and photographs from Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Spring Summer 2015, you will see that the majority of models have a very, very luminous face. Um, there's not a lot of contouring going on, not a lot of makeup in general, not a lot of color. It's more about this beautiful, healthy skin that really radiates and, and has a, a youthful glow to it. So again, strobing is technically just highlighting. Um, if, you're un if you're unfamiliar with highlighting, what that is, is we are drawing features, um, the high points of our face, you know, accentuating features. So in a sense, think about the word highlight. We highlight a word in a book, we are making it stand out. So that's exactly what um, the strobing technique is. So I'm just going to show you. I have done it. I usually do it every day. Um, it is something that I recommend for every woman that um, is lacking moisture, especially as she starts maturing and, you know, you don't really have that radiant glow um, that you had when you were younger. So everything that I teach my customers to do or my clients to do is about drawing the face upward, which highlighting or strobing is exactly that technique. So um, you can use a cream or a powder. You don't want the product to look glittery on the skin. It should just have a nice subtle sheen. If you see flecks of glitter, that is not what you want to have. So um, there are a couple of products that I really love. I, I am a big fan of cream products. In fact, I always use a cream highlighter and then depending on the look that I'm going for, I will reinforce that by using a powder highlighter um, as one of the last steps that I do. So I'm going to show you first a powder. There are many on the market, but I have to say that this one is my absolute favorite. This is a mineral highlighter by Mirabella. It's a mineral makeup company, a company out of California. This is called Swirling Pearl Brilliant. Um, the reason that I like this product so much is that it is a very, very fine um, particle powder. One of the reasons that I tend not to use powders is that the um, powder sits very flat and matte on the skin, and unless a makeup company spends the extra money to mill the product very fine, usually it's triple milled, the powder is going to be visible. Um, in essence, you're, the, the particles of powder, when you feel them, they're going to feel larger, and they're just going to be more obvious on the skin. This is um, a new technique, technique out of Italy called Prismatec. And what it is, it's very, very fine, but it's also almost like taking um, a cream product and a baked product and combining them. So it just sits beautifully on the skin. So I like to use a fan brush to apply my highlighter. You want to have a very light hand. So if you use a regular blush brush or powder brush, it's going to be too thick, too dense, and it's going to apply too much product. You have to be very strategic in where you are applying your highlighting or strobing product. So here is a fan brush. Um, I prefer natural hair bristles over synthetic because they're going to pick up a little bit more product for you. You're going to take the brush go all the way over the edges and either side, tap it off, and then hit the high points of your face. So basically, for me, I'm gonna do a light C shape around uh, the highest point of my cheek, going around my brow bone. So really working that into the skin, then take it and continue with the C. And then also, my temples are recessed, so I'm gonna take that and just softly blend it towards the hairline right on the temple. 
So you're going to see that nice subtle highlight right there on the cheekbone. And again, I did already have this on, so um, you already see it on the other side as well, but that should be a little stronger. So again, just really working it into the skin by doing little tiny circles, C-shape around the eye. So those are the two most prominent places you're seeing that all over um, social media and all the photographs. Also, the center of your face. Now, go down the center of the nose and typically the center of the forehead. Now, if you're someone that tends to have more of an oily skin type, um, you're probably averse to, you, you don't like having the look of shine on your face. So you might wanna skip the forehead, but you can most definitely hit the high points of the cheeks. Another great place to place your highlighter is right above the cupid bow, especially if your top lip is smaller than your bottom lip, because highlight, again, is going to accentuate whatever that feature is. So if I want my top lip to look a little bit more full than um, it is, then I would take it, and of course you would use a smaller brush, and just apply it above the cupid bow there. So um, that is how you would apply your powder highlighter. And as I mentioned, I love cream, and I use cream every single day. And the IT Cosmetics Hello Cream Illuminator is my absolute favorite um, cream highlighter. It has a beautiful, beautiful consistency. The texture's nice. It actually has some anti-aging ingredients in it. So normally, after I have put on my CC cream or my foundation, um, whatever cream or liquid complexion perfecter that I'm going to wear, before I apply any powder to the face, I'm going to apply my cream highlighter. For this, I like to use my ring finger. Your ring finger has the least amount of pressure than any of the other fingertips. So I usually take my ring finger and then just do a light circle in my highlighter and then just tap right along the high point of the cheek and around the eye exactly like you did with the powder. And then you're gonna blend it in. Now, again, I already have the other on, but this just shows you how you would do that. Take it down the center of the nose, cupid bow, I even place it right here in that little divot because um, as we age, our, that becomes more prominent. Our bottom lip uh, creates, a, uh, creates a shadow. So by just putting it right there, that brings that little divot forward. You can even put it on either side of your lips because as we age, um, when we are not smiling, we look like we're frowning. So I wanna highlight the corners of my mouth so that they look upturned, so like that. So I hope that you have enjoyed this little beauty tip. Highlighting is one of my absolute favorite um, techniques to give a very youthful glow to the skin. It is all about, the summer is about beautiful, beautiful, healthy skin that radiates. Not a lot of color, not a lot of um, blush and contouring, but really just nice, healthy skin. And you can definitely achieve that with um, strobing, in other words, highlighting, with either cream or powder products. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to um, jot them down in the comment box below. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in to my video. I hope you have a fantastic day.